Hi guys. Good afternoon everybody. Today we will be making KFC, KFC style chicken copycat. We have all the ingredients here. We have the chicken all ready to go. We have chicken drumsticks, chicken breast and chicken wings. See, it's all ready to go. Uh, the first thing to do yes. is to uh, we start cooking the chicken. We half cook it. Then we make. The Are you sure? We half cook it because otherwise, if you cook it completely with the batter on, the batter will go too hard okay. and crispy. So you half cook it without the batter. Then you take it out, cover it in batter then deep fry it. Okay, how did you know the uh, procedure from KFC? I used to go out with a girl that used to work in a, in, a, in a chicken shop called Hunger Cure and they used to make KFC style chicken. It was exactly the same. Oh, um, you mean uh, ex? Ex-girlfriend, yeah. That was when I was about uh, maybe 20-ish, mm -hmm. 22. You didn't like tell me about it. Well, it was, uh, it was only a passing uh, fling. How long did you have a relationship? About three weeks, I suppose. Three weeks? Yeah, only three what weeks. What happened? It just wasn't uh, my style of woman, really. Am I your style of woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've been with you nearly 16 years. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Okay. Tell them what are the ingredients here. First we have flour, which is uh, uh, plain white flour. Uh, probably reduced price. Uh, then we have uh, paprika. Yeah. Then we have that's ground ginger. Mm -hmm. Then we have Oregano One thing you must have is English Coleman's mustard powdered, lovely Then have 100% natural salt and have white pepper and then Garlic powder. Ah, something I forgot. There you go. And this is thyme. There you go. One measuring spoon, one bowl to make the batter. All we need now is the means of half cooking the chicken, and we need a large saucepan full of oil to deep fry it once it's battered. You're only going to half cook it for probably about maybe 10 20 minutes. In high heat? Uh, not too high. About 180. Okay. Wait for the, the oven to get warm before you cook, before you uh, put the chicken in. I'll we'll use some tin foil. Like so. Do we have any lard? Do we need that? Yeah, we we'll cut that, just rub the lard over that. Spot. Olive oil. It stops the chicken from it stops the chicken from sticking. Okay, olive oil, yeah? Olive oil will do, yeah. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. And we'll just pour a little bit onto the uh, the tin foil. Spread it out evenly. That will stop the chicken. That will stop the chicken from sticking. Do now. Do you have any gloves? Yeah. There you go chef. Thank you.
Now I'm ready to do a medical examination. <laughs> Not to me! <laughs> I'm ready. We take the chicken. Play the map. oven to come up to temperature once the the red lights gone out on the oven it's up to temperature we put that in the top of the oven because mm -hmm. heat rises and it's always hotter in the top of the oven than what it is at the bottom oh. didn't you know that no i didn't even there you understand go. heat you rises <laughs> anyway we put that in the top half of the oven and probably 10 maybe 15 minutes i'll cook while it while it's cooking we'll make the batter one cup of flour One teaspoon salt, one teaspoon thyme, one teaspoon basil, dried, two teaspoon sweet paprika. One half teaspoon oregano. One tablespoon garlic salt. Dash of pepper. One teaspoon mustard powder. You haven't got it turned on here, have you? Yeah, this is the oven. Oh, is that the oven? It's green. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shows you how often I use the oven. <laughs> One teaspoon uh, ginger powder. Oh. That's it. All right, I should do the mixing. There we go. Can I try it? Mm. I can taste it already like a KFC. No, you eat that and I'll eat the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> try it! How does it taste? Powdery. <laughs> and that's it. The oven is already the oven's hot. hot. You should put the tray up to the top before we start it. Chicken. Let's wait about 10 minutes and then we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. Just so we know we can move it around a little bit. I'll make a uh, sweet potato fries that goes with the uh, KFC chicken coffee cat. I'm 
promoting. Nawala ko po itong ano eh, ito. Natapon ko sa basurahan. Hinuha ulit namin yung basura. Inis na inis siya sa akin. Pili na lang daw ako, sabi ko. Hindi. Galing pa yun sa Philippines. Talagang kinuha namin at pinalungkat ko dun sa bathtub. I put the garbage in the bathtub, right? And I really look for this. Yeah. And he was really annoyed. He said, I can buy new one, but I don't want to. This is my favorite potato peeler. Chicken, we're now coming out of the oven. It should be about half cooked. Ito po, i-de-drage niya dito, yung chicken. The egg. And coat it again. That's it. Once so, and the coast again, once so. And the whole thing is. Okay. Okay. Oh, these ones are easier to do. And one more to do, and then we're all ready for the uh, big reveal. Okay, there we have our battered chicken, all ready to go. Now then, we're gonna, one by one, here we go. One, two, three, there we go. Let's have a chicken wing in. Lagay na rin natin itong kamote. Here we are frying tonight. How many cans of ketchup do we need? <laughs> Only one! <laughs> Only one! This one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have chicken KFC style. It's wonderful. Wow. Mm. Put that on the table. There's something missing. Something missing. Hmm. In that batter, there's something missing. The KFC one tastes a little bit more tangy. Yeah, some sort of savoury thing I must put in the batter. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe magic syrup. Well, I wouldn't use magic syrup, would they? That's Filipino. <laughs> you know, something, some seasoning they put in it. Tinikman yan, eh. But anyway, it's, it's success. Okay. It's nice. Very nice. Oh,
All we're doing is waiting for the chips. I want them that you eat already. We hope it's chips, it's chips. We hope it's chips, it's chips. KFC copycat and sweet potato chips. Kain po tayo. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. What do you want to drink? Uh, water, by the looks of it. Water. <laughs> I want the wings. You want the wings? Yes. Why do you want the wings? It's a sweet boring. potato. It's a success, is it? Mm. You're a good chef. Why don't you apply a KFC? Spices they use that make it slightly spicy. You want a little bit hot? Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe more pepper? No, it's not pepper. One of these days, I'm going to buy KFC and we taste it, yeah? Mm. And we figure out what is really uh, lacking or something like that. Mm. That's the way to do it. around about 1968. Mm. Yeah. I think um, American owns that. Yeah, they do. That's why it's called Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders? Mm. What do you mean? You know that picture of the man yeah. on the bucket? That is Colonel Sanders. And he was the, the inventor of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, he was a colonel before? Yeah, in the Confederate Army, I believe. Mm. He became a chef. Mm. The man with the 
Yeah. They called him Colonel Sanders, whether he was really a colonel, I don't know. Mm. But that's what they called him. But Ken Sutton Fried Chicken started it all, didn't they? In this country, anyway. First was Kentucky Fried Chicken, then you get all the other chicken shops. And that, and that came about, which was similar to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then you had Bestie, that was the same. All, all, all Kentucky Fried Chicken copycats. Loads of them, there's loads of them around. But for me, it's really fun when we eat there with other people, you know. I prefer that. Yeah, because you haven't got to do the washing up afterwards. <laughs> huh? Tell what chicken I did like in the Philippines. In a cell. Chicken in a cell? Yeah. You like it? Do you remember we used to go there quite yeah. often? Mm -hmm. No noise and thoughts or nothing, it was just. Yeah. By the time, time you finish your hands up, oh. <laughs> just swipe it. Lots of bone in it though, weren't there? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. There's a really skinny chicken out there. Skinny chickens. <laughs> no. You know why? Because it's native chicken. Yeah. That's it. This white wine's really nice. <laughs> Keep dreaming. So thank you very much for supporting Thank you very much for watching the vlog. I hope you have a very good day in the Philippines and wherever you are around the world. Cheers! I'm going to see you for the next time. Take care, God bless, bye! That was nice, that That's just enough for our stomach. That wasn't bad, that, that was a good result. <laughs>